Hey guys, Joe Fish here, and I've got Barrel and Blade. Uh, the theme of this month, I, I know, is hydra hydration or hi hydrate. Um, I know they prom promote a camel pack, but that was probably for level two, since I'm level one. Who knows? But it'll all help out the long run. So, without further ado, let's get into this. Alright, cool. I'm alright with that. Right off the bat. Here's our card. Alright. Alright, it's Operation Hydrate or Die. Um, you know, staying hydrated is crucial, but does your bug out bag or get home bag reflect this? So, if you guys remember a couple videos ago, I made a bug out bag and I uh, commented about you know water purification stuff like that um so this is going to be immediately put right to use so awesome um dehydration can cause fatigue dizziness confusion and death it goes without saying all these things can critically affect your mission the problem we encounter in both military operations and survival scenarios is that each gallon of water weighs over eight pounds it takes up to 230 cubic inches to store and carry even the most fit person can have difficulty carrying enough water for more than a few days. Because of this, it's important to have a few items in place no matter your mission. First, you need an efficient way to carry water and distribute its weight across your shoulders and hips. The best way to do this is with a hydration carrier. Um, they are also much quieter than traditional canteens. And next, you need an effective way to purify water. Since you can't carry enough, the ability to purify water on the go is critical. This can be done with chemicals, filters, or simply via boiling water. Um, however, if I have to comment on that, or I'm going to comment on that, if you're in a survival situation, you're out hunting, hiking, camping, and you get lost, and you come across the water source, a significant water source, not necessarily just you know a teeny little stream, significant water source, follow that, and it almost always will lead to civilization. Um, you may have to hike. I mean, other than staying in place, if you have to travel, if, you know, a couple days go by and after you've found a source of, of, of you know, of water, if after a few days you're not found and you feel you have to move, move along with the current of the water, it, most often times you'll find some sort of civilization, um, at least around here. I live in hilly country and if there's a river or a stream, and you follow it long enough, there will be a house somewhere, a camp, something. Um, so, just keep that in mind. Uh, first off the bat, like I said, I got level 1. I'll also read level 2 after I go through these contents. And uh, we'll go through there. <coughs> or we'll go from there. So first off in level 1, the Condor Water Hydration Carrier. Alright, Condor. I'm super excited about this. I can't, I, I mean, I cannot wait to get in there. So right off the bat, it's pretty standard. Your hose is covered with uh, like a flexible nylon. Um, it's a darker colored hose, which is good. You don't want sunlight bearing down on your hose. That's why, the, the, hence the dark covering. Um, because you can actually get mildew and bacteria will build up inside of the hose. And now you've created a whole nother whole other situation for yourself um, both in storing hiking um, just I mean, if you don't get it cleaned out there are you know there are some re repercussions for that so here we go and that was valued at $42.95 um, the special hydration carrier designed to be carried as a backpack or to be mounted on molly webbing like that found on your plate carrier, that makes this one of the most versatile carriers around. It is perfect for serious or casual applications. It features its own heavy duty webbing for molly attachments and attachable attachment straps for ambidextrous usage. 
Um, it has a large Velcro panel on the front and grommet for drainage. So there's the grommets we spoke of for drainage. Pull this out. I like this because it, it also has, um, which most of them do, I mean, some of them don't. Some of them just have, have like a hook and you have to hook it in here. Some of them just have clips. Some of them doesn't, don't have anything on your hydration. Blad, bladder ends up working its way down and getting bunched up, and, which ends up short, shortening the length of your hose. Um, easily pulls out. You don't even have to end. You can stick the whole thing. Did you drop your bow, bud? One second. Did you drop your bottle? That's all right. There you go. All right. So now you don't you don't have to pull the whole pack out to be able to fill it. You can just pull this out a little bit. The, there is a um, O ring on this, obviously. Let's go ahead and pull this stuff out. Nice heavy duty, two and a half gallons, I believe. So fill it up. Tighten her up, and the weight of the water will actually will make this just kind of ease in there a little better. So there's that Velcro. Also Velcro here if you want to put like a name tag on that. Um, like I said, nice long hose can be swapped to either side, as I said. Let's get to the webbing. So this has Molly attachments here, which is awesome. I love that. Definitely going to get used. Harness. Um, I, I think maybe it might be missing some sort of padding. I, in my personal opinion, because if you didn't have that, this might kind of bear onto your shoulders a little bit. Bro. Yeah, I know Bow. If you throw it again, you ain't getting back. Here you go, buddy. No. All right. Operation Bow Retrieval number two is a success. See how long that takes. Uh, like I said, the. Um, Mom. 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 Hey. Mom. You threw it on the floor, buddy. Mom. You're getting her back. Anyway, in my personal opinion, Mom. I feel these might be a little thin. Detach it from that, dude. No. This is the last time, bro. No. No. You want to just get down? How about we just neutralize the situation? Ugh. You see your crayons. You know the rule. If you're not in your seat, here's your bow. Okay. Here, you want to help Daddy make this video? Because right now you're not really getting all that help. Here you go, Bubba. Like I said, in my opinion, that'll bear down. But there is also these clips here. That you can take it out of this lash in here. Give you a little bit more room to move. I like it. I think it'll uh, definitely be used. So there's that. Set this off to the side. Pretty stoked about that. All right, buddy. Killing me, Smalls. All right, the two ounce Pyrenees water purification drops, valued at fifteen ninety five. This is a hundred percent natural mineral based water purifier that disinfects and clarifies questionable water from any. Freshwater source without chemical disinfect disinfectants, making it safe to drink and use. It's proprietary formulation and fluctuating. I hope that's what I'm going for. And coagulating mineral salts eliminates, reduces 200 plus contaminants, including pathogens, bacteria, viruses, and protozoa, as well as heavy metals, industrial and agricultural cultural chemicals, pharmaceuticals, and more. So there we go, nice small bottle, this 
definitely going to go in the uh, bug out bag. So there we go. Pure and eyes, water purifier drops. Also the packaging on this and the directions add 20 drops per quart or liter or one teaspoon per gallon of water. Shake, stir well, let stand for at least 60 minutes. So there we go. Just simple. Some drops, shake, sit, hydrate. Hydrate. Yep, there we go. And also, last but not, well, almost last but not least, let's get into this first. A little bonus. We got a Birchwood KC Shoot and See Target. So that's a bonus on this card. So that's pretty cool. I'll use this. I'll Definitely. Use this. Yep, I'll use it. We have the KOTU or KOTU Survival Knife, valued at twenty nine ninety five. Five. Titanium coated three inch Tanto style blade has both straight and serrated edges for cutting through almost any bind. The four twenty stainless steel is equipped with a sturdy glass breaker at one end, making it an ideal survival knife. Quick release sheath and removable belt clip attaches to backpacks, belts, boots, and Molly systems. Includes a paracord slot and bottle opener on the handle for both serious and fun tasks. What's that? This, this is super nice. This is super nice. And it is super nice, huh? Is that a cool knife? That's so cool, huh? Mama! And as always, it's got a bottle Mama! opener. Every survival tool survival. ever made has had a bottle opener. Hey. Take it easy. So there's that. Let's go ahead and open this up. I'm pretty excited. I don't usually open this up right away. But. Bubba, I know, but you're really making me nervous with this nice work going on around here. Yeah, that is a cool knife, huh? Some batteries. It doesn't take batteries, buddy. It does not. It does not. the detachable belt clip also has a molly webbing clip here at the bottom it's a bottom it's a nice chip in here in the back I can't get up here, buddy. feels good in the hand I like how the pinky kind of rolls over into this bottle I, li I like the feel I can't of it get up there. I can't get up there. some thick Thick packing oil. Hey, give him a hug. No fight. I know you guys love wrestling so much. Weirdo. Here we have that. I'm super excited. This get is up here. I like this. A lot. I want to get up here. I can't get up here. We can't. It's also action we can't, for we your can't way. get up here. And it's also reversible. So there's no one set way it has to go into the sheath. Which makes it on its own ambidextrous. Um, the way you the way you would work this is using your hand, push that, it releases this latch. 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 So that's awesome. I like that a lot. Awesome. I might actually turn this around. I believe I can do that. Can you do that? I might not be able to. Well, I probably could. I might turn this around. And use it instead. Is it this nice? You know, this way. I would. I think I would like that on my plate carrier. So there we go, guys. I want to get up here. There we go, guys. As always, if you like this and you want to get in on it, I don't have a promo code from them, but I ought to get on that. I but that. check them out. We got level one, level two. If you subscribe to level two, this is what you're gonna get. The Camelback Militech Ambush, value at 128. Ambush. 
Self-Reliance Outfitters Gen 3 Bottle and Nesting Cup Kit, value of $39.95. Two ounce Purees Water Purification Drops, value of $15.95. And the Co2 Survival Knife, value of $29.95. So if you got the level two, the same item, you're gonna get these two same items. You're going to get a like item. And then you're going to get two um, higher, higher, higher grade quality items. Items. Yes. Items. Uh, items. Yep. Okay. Items. So if you want to know what's on the level two, guys, if you want to know what's on level two, go check them out. That is the Camelback Miltech Ambush and the Self Reliance Outfitters Gen 3 Bottle and Nesting Cup Kit, valued at $39.95. And the Camelback was. I know, sick kids. That's part of the problem. This problem. $128 for that. So check it out, guys. As always, like, comment, subscribe, share, all that stuff down below on this side. If you're not a subscriber, hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit the bell so you don't miss out on these videos with me trying to get through these boxes, boxes. with these two, two helpers. Helpers. Yeah, are you my helper? I am. Yeah, you think you are. All right, as always, guys. And yep, Joe Fish out. Yes, Joe Fish out. All right, guys. Thanks for your help. Ugh.